I love tomatoes and I have been obsessed with tomatoes because no two taste exactly alike. They are loaded with umami, which means they lift other flavors. I mean, if you think about it, a tomato sauce with pasta, we're talking about tomatoes from the Americas, wheat from the Mediterranean coming together. That's what's made Italian food so popular. You know, it's serotonin. You feel good when you eat tomatoes. The color of a tomato will tell you a lot about what it's gonna taste like. Take a look at these babies. Ideally, a red tomato has a balance of acid and sweetness, and, and if you think about music, it's kind of like a waltz. You know, it's this lovely, lyrical taste that keeps opening up in your mouth. By contrast, a yellow tomato, even with a bit of red, is very sweet, usually very low in acid. The green tomato with that little bit of red, this can really be the hybrid. This can have a tart backdrop with a bit of sweetness to it. And then perhaps my favorite, the black tomatoes. These can taste like a fabulous red wine. These can have such a richness, it's like eating a great steak. And I have to say, these are the ones that I'm really a sucker for. So okay, what do you do with them? Well, first of all, you can just imagine a platter of slicing all these different tomatoes, interspersing them, giving them maybe a little bit of fresh basil and perhaps some salt, that's all you need. But one of the fun things I like to do is to take these and use them individually. Uh, for instance, these very sweet ones, put sugar on them and drizzle them with cream and serve them as a dessert. Then with these robust, lovely waltz tomatoes. These are the tomatoes that you want to make sauce with. Now, when it comes to my wine-like tomatoes, this is what I love to put over pasta. Just cut it up, olive oil, maybe a little lemon, okay, and toss that. It's fabulous. Always taste tomatoes before you buy them, if you possibly can. You know, buy one and bite into it. That way you'll know whether it's worth the money or not. Oh, and by the way, we're always told in recipes to seed the tomato and to peel it. Well, guess what? A huge percentage of the flavor of a tomato sits right here with the seeds, and it spreads to that gel around it. So every time you see a recipe that says, seed the tomato, you're throwing away the best part of the tomato. So, message received, I hope. And that's your Tomato 101.